getting a text message on the uh, Apple Watch, you know. Uh, again, fancy. The, the theme here is fancy. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping by for a few minutes to talk sneakers with us. We appreciate you very much. If you are new to the channel, we upload a brand new video. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you love sneakers like we do, you have come to the right place. If you enjoy today's video, please give us a thumbs up. It really does go a long way. Helps the channel continue to grow all of that good stuff. And if you're looking for me outside of YouTube, outside of this little cubicle that you see here, Twitter and Instagram, at Mr. Fomer Simpson, bang, right there. Uh, and I think that's it. Buckets. Anything to add before we dive in? No. Shoot. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 6 Singles Day. So this sneaker released a couple months ago and retail was $210. It was a women's release and I don't even remember seeing pictures of them, much less knowing that they were releasing. It's actually a really well done sneaker too. I saw them the other day and I was like, man, we gotta take a look at them. We reviewed a Jordan 6 in our last video and we are reviewing this Jordan 6 today. By the way, if you have not already seen that Carmine video, feel free to go check it out, take an early look. We will put a direct link in the description of this video. The Carmine 6 is a classic, that goes without saying. These, on the other hand, brand spanking new. No nostalgia, no great Michael Jordan moments in this colorway, obviously. There are just some very cool details, I guess. You got a soft nubuck or suede on the sides. And then the rest of the sneaker is almost like this intricate tapestry. Is that the right word? I don't think it's tapestry. It's something. There's all these cool designs and details woven in to the upper. I don't know. It's, it's very provocative. It's provocative for sure. You got little basketballs, roses, Jumpman logos. You even got this woven tongue shroud. If you know me, by the way, you know I love the color burgundy. Burgundy boys, gang, gang, gang. I saw that and I was like, wow, these are very, very fancy. You got the gold Jumpman hang tag, standard Jordan 6 tongue. Spoiler on the back air bubble on the side, regular things, lace lock as you can see, blacked out bottoms. They just did a nice job on these. I dig them. Even if I'm not going to wear them, I still appreciate them. Now, Singles Day is the theme behind the sneaker. It is a Chinese holiday. I actually was not even aware it existed until I Googled it. I can't sit here and uh, act like I knew. What was that, that, that one thing, Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It was a TV show. TV show. And it would always be questions like that. And here you are just getting absolutely dismantled 
um, intellectually by a fifth grader. Yeah. So I had to Google this. I had to. I had to use a lifeline. This is what Singles Day is. I don't exactly know the exact day. It's in November. And it's for single people, people who are not married, to buy themselves some gifts. It's almost like, I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm I'm here for it. Treat yourself. Yeah, it's like the opposite of Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you buy yourself a box of chocolates. You buy yourself a pair of sneakers. Maybe these. Regardless, I am a fan. Now, I talked about this in the Carmine video that I mentioned, but I really like the Jordan 6. Just personally and generally speaking, I think it is an underrated model. It's such a good pair to rock with jeans. The Jordan 6 is definitely a fall winter go-to in my opinion because it's kind of a rugged sneaker, but they're also still pretty sleek for a retro. Now, I guess the sleekness doesn't matter as far as the season goes. No, it matters. I I've told you this a bunch, so you already know I feel this way, but I think it's one of the best Jordan retros to wear with jeans. That's why it's good in the fall and the winter. Yeah. Also the sleekness. The sleekness. It's sleek. You you want to be sleek in the winter, so for what? Slip and slide. If you do like a Casey Neistat snowboarding through New York City, remember that video? I do. Iconic. Maybe you dress up in the Santa costume and you have these on your feet. Maybe. Who knows? Here's something else that I'll say. It's been dope to see Jordan Brand do more and more stuff as far as women's releases go. I think that's something that they're doing a good job with and other brands really could take notes in that regard. I just had a thought, maybe we'll actually give this pair away to one of our female subscribers. I would like to see these find a good home. I think it's a sneaker that deserves to be appreciated and uh, deserves to be worn. Buckets, you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, good. So uh, follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Fomer Simpson, and we'll figure out the, uh, the details on that. Or maybe we'll just throw it in our monthly Patreon giveaway. Maybe. Either way, either way. Uh, you go first on this one. Scale of one to 10. Where are you at with these? Six and a half. Six and a half. I'm going to give them a seven and a half. I, I, I think they're better than that. I guess no surprise. If you tune in regularly, no surprise that I'm a little higher than buckets on the uh, on the rating. What do we want to give them for the scale? So these are, these got some, some, some floral vibes to them. I mean, I think this is like silk is what this is. I'm going to say... What was the dude's name in, in the town with Ben Affleck? That was uh, Fergus. Fergus the florist. So I'm going to give these seven and a half Fergus roses out of ten. Okay. What do you think? You into it? I mean, I'm not into that at all, but there you go. All right, we're, we're going to go with it. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts on the sneaker? Did you know this sneaker existed? Because I promise I did not. Uh, how do you feel about the Jordan 6? How do you feel about Jordan retros in general? Women's releases? However you're feeling, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. Buckets, anything to add? No. Oh, I want to say shouts to the homie Eddie Wynn for this incredible crew neck i think it was uh last season it's about a year ago that you dropped this right yeah probably and i actually stole yours so i have two of these i wear them regularly it's one of my favorite crew necks i love it i rock it all the time speaking of fall and winter this has been an absolute staple for me so uh shouts to eddie Wynn. go check out his channel if you have not already he creates very very good content so um that's it adios